In this video, we'll be going over the Properties tab in Tech Manager. So the first thing you need to do is select the Tech Monitor whose properties you want to look at. The first section is Asset Information. This contains various asset information about the devices connected to the Tech Monitor. The first option is tech monitor asset number. We generally uh, pre-program it with the tech monitor serial number, but feel free to change it to match your uh, asset numbering system if you so choose. Uh, next, we have manufacturer uh, for device number one. Uh, for an example, I have put uh, TechVox and the TechVox 1201 in plus switcher as our device example. Uh, after the manufacturer and model number comes the serial number. And after that comes the asset number. And again, uh, feel free to set this to match whatever asset numbering system you use. And with uh, device number two, generally we have that be the main display in the room, such as a projector or a LCD display, etc. And it has the same fields as device one has. After that, uh, we have a purchase date, which we set up when we program the tech monitor. The installer, uh, this will be uh, whoever, either team or company, that is responsible for installing uh, the equipment in the room. Installation date, they should set this uh, when they go and install the equipment. And then the warranty date, we set that, and you should not mess with it. After the asset information comes email messages. Uh, in this section, you can set up a number of short uh, email messages that can be the tech monitor can send uh, if uh, need be. Uh, so for example, we've got AV assist needed. And this, like all the other fields, uh, you can just type in or change these messages as you see fit. And the email messages are broken up into two sections, normal email messages and security email messages. These two messages will go to generally two different uh, email uh, with the security messages uh, generally being tied to our tech security feature uh, so that your security will get an email whenever a device, uh, generally, you know, projector display is uh, disconnect, unexpectedly disconnected. After email messages, we have facility. Uh, we have location. This is generally a uh, campus or company uh, or whatever other thing you want location to be. After that comes building, which is just the building the room is in, and group. Uh, for example, we have here classroom, uh, could be conference room or training room or something else along those lines. And then last, you have the room name itself. And this facility, these facility uh, fields uh, relate to how the tech monitor shows in this project view. Uh, so as you can see, uh, this tech monitor right here is in Tech, the Tech University location in the library building. It is a classroom and it is in room TLB 100. 
And if you were to change these, it would change where on the tree the room is. After that, we have host settings. Uh, these are email and various like email and error reporting settings. Uh, so uh, I've input some uh, example uh, fields. Uh, for the email feature to work, we need a valid uh, email server. The port, uh, the tech monitor will communicate to that email server with, along with uh, user credentials so that it can log into the email server. And you can say, also set who is the, who this email comes from. Uh, generally, you'll want to set that to be somewhat indicative that it comes from a tech monitor. And you can also set two different two emails. There is two normal, which is for the normal messages I mentioned earlier. And there's two security. And this is where the security messages will be sent. You can also enable or disable a usage report. This is a monthly report that a tech monitor will generate and email to the normal uh, email address. You can also enable or disable error messages. Uh, we advise you leave this on. Enable security sets whether or not uh, the tech security is on or off. It is generally on, but should be turned off uh, should you need to go into a room to replace a projector or display so that you don't get any false security reports. You should also not touch uh, the enable or disable timers. We set these up as need be for the rooms. UTC offset is the time zone offset. You generally won't need to touch this either. Same with adjust for daylight savings. Device locked is that should generally be false. Occasionally, we will send out uh, provisional rooms that a campus can keep in stock if they, you know. Uh, they've got some rooms, but they can't install them yet, or what have you, and those will occasionally come as locked uh, so that they can be double checked and looked over to make sure they are programmed correctly for the room they're being installed in. Next, we have macro events. Uh, these are macro, uh, these define macros, they're called. Uh, when specific things happen. Uh, the number on the right uh, relates to one of these macro numbers down below. So for example, this start macro is macro number six, which as you can see is listed right here. The start uh, macro will run whenever the tech monitor is powered on or restarted for the first time. Timeout, uh, this is when the uh, system off timer goes out. And motion timeout will run when the motion timer uh, goes off. Tech control connect and tech control disconnect are legacy features. So you most likely won't need to worry about them. And device on and off, uh, when the connected device, it, the first connected device is turned on, device on will run. And when it is turned off, device one off will run. And similar situation for device two on and off, just for the second device instead of the first one. 
After that comes the macro section. This lists all the macros that you can run from the tech monitor. And if you want, you can uh, edit them, you can rename them or edit the commands yourself. We will be going into how to edit macros in more detail in a later video. The next section is network settings. These are the network settings for the tech monitor. Uh, so for example, this one has DHC enabled, which means that it gets all of its uh, network information uh, from the network router it's on. If you turn it off, so you set DC enabled to false, you will need to input the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway for that tech monitor. You need to be very careful messing with the network settings. Uh, if, for example, you turn DHCP off and the IP address gets set to an address that is already taken up on that network, there's a very good chance you will be unable to find the tech monitor via tech manager. And you will instead need to go to it physically and use the USB debug port to fix those network settings. There's also the passcode feature. Uh, you can set the passcode, and that passcode is the same passcode you use for searching. So if uh, you decide you want a room to have a different passcode, you can go set it here. And this timeout is a network timeout thing. You will likely not need to mess with this either. Next is the schedule section. You can schedule uh, a macro to be run at certain times of day, certain days of the week, and so on. So uh, this one, for example, is a system off uh, schedule. So this makes sure at uh, 11 o'clock at night, it goes and turns off the room. Uh, this way, in case someone forgot, left something on, it will always be turned off. So it's not left on running all night. And you can set up to four schedules to run any macros that have been set up, but system off is the most common one. The last section is tech monitor information. The first section is monitor name. This is the label that shows next to the icon in the project and holding area. So for example, if I change this to TLB100A, it will update here so that it now says TLB100A. The next section is serial number. As you can see, uh, this field along with the ones following it are all grayed out. That means you cannot edit them. Uh, so the serial number is just the serial number of the tech monitor. The software version, this is the firmware version that is currently loaded into the tech monitor. So you can check to see if it's out of date. And if it is, you can refer to our video for updating them to figure out how to do that. The next section is the drivers. So these are the drivers that tell the tech monitor how to control the various devices. So uh, you can double check to make sure, uh, like for example, if you need to replace a projector, you can check to make sure the driver matches the new projector you're putting in and so on. 
and then after the drivers comes the last polled uh, field. And this shows when a tech monitor, tech manager was last able to pull a tech monitor for information. So uh, since this one is online, it has been pulled fairly recently. But uh, for example, this room has been offline and was last pulled a while back. Uh, this way you can see, get a estimate for how long a room has been offline and maybe help you troubleshoot what could have caused that. And that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.